Welcome to the Angry Joe Command Center. <laughs> I am proud to present it to you guys. Uh, this is the vlog video on my dream setup. Basically six years on YouTube and I finally built sort of my monster machine and my dream setup for uh, you know, not only PC computing, video editing, gaming, but also console gaming uh, and recording. Um, I think I started this channel back in uh, 2008 and we're creeping near 2 million subscribers. So the only way this is possible is because of you guys. And I want to thank every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel, who have hell, just simply watched videos. Um, I'm eternally grateful for it and uh, I want to share a, a bunch of you as have asked me about my new setup and so I want to share every little piece of detail with you guys in case you want to duplicate the setup or just know what kind of horsepower I've got behind editing and gaming so that maybe you know if in the future you want to get something similar so you could do your own videos or whatnot uh, so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll clue you into what I got so Let's start uh, here. This is the brand new Alienware uh, Area 51. It is fucking beautiful, if I don't mind saying so myself. Um, you have a very unique ergonomic design. It is more a triangle shape. I've never seen a tower like this before. Uh, supposedly, it improves airflow and it also makes it a lot easier to reach the USBs in the back. Um, it's a little bit easier to carry. You've got handle up top. Um, and it's very easy to customize and take apart. And I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, if all you wanted to do was access the inside of this computer, you really only need to remove one screw, flip a switch, and then the panels come off. It is fucking amazing. It's very easy to upgrade, uh, very easy to maintain and keep clean. Uh, so I really love the Area 51 new tower that they've got there. Now, uh, I was able to purchase this new computer uh, thanks to Alienware and all of the viewers uh, on Twitch who donated to us in order to uh, get me a better setup. I've been using that dinosaur of a machine for I don't know how many years now, uh, but people have been very generous, and so I've been saving all that money, and Alienware has got us a deal on this system, and uh, we were able to uh, basically purchase uh, the command center. So let's talk a little bit about what is actually in here. What is in the tower? What kind of horsepower am I running? Well, I've got an Intel i7-5930, and this baby is overclocked to 3.9 gigahertz. And I also have 32 uh, gigabytes of DDR4 uh, memory. Uh, one of the biggest differences, now I know this is a shock, but uh, because solid state drives came out a little while ago, but I never had a system with a solid state drive. I finally do. This has a 250 gigabyte uh, Windows solid state drive boot drive. So I partitioned it just for Windows and the essential programs. And holy shit, have I seen this insane performance on just starting my sh machine or turning on my machine or restarting my machine. When I do streams and I would need to restart the stream, it would take me like five minutes on that old dinosaur machine uh, to start up. And I'd sit there just like, oh my God, everybody's leaving, you know? But in fact, let me just show you how fucking quick this thing restarts with a solid state drive. So we go here, fucking Windows 8. But I'm gonna hit the restart button and I'm gonna show you exactly how fast this system can reboot itself. It blows my mind. It's literally, uh, you know, within a minute, within a few seconds. Uh, and I'm right back up and running so that I can continue the stream. So solid state drives, I highly recommend them. Uh, if you get a new computer, don't think about anything else but a solid state drive for your Windows partition. Um, aside from the Windows partition, for everything else, for my games and for my video editing, I have four gigabytes, uh, or no, four, 
I have four terabytes of SATA space, um, a really high RPM, I think it's 6200 RPM. Uh, I need a little bit more than four gigabytes, so I, I plan to save a little, a little bit more money and grab some more space. And th it, this should be really easy to uh, upgrade and throw in that new hard drive. And boom, ready to go. Uh, <laughs> that's how quickly it takes. And I'm 100% ready to go and stream right now. So it didn't take very long at all. Um, what else? I have uh, in this system, I also have two GTX 980s. Those are, those are eight gigabytes a piece. And, uh, and I got them in an SLI configuration. So it gives me a lot of horsepower. I've seen that I've been able to run games in extreme settings and still record either using Shadow Play or OBS, which is the two recording programs that I use. Um, I'm a little lazy with OBS, but I've managed to pull out some amazing quality from uh, just local recording with OBS, which is pretty impressive. And it keeps the files so freaking small. It's, a, it's amazing. Um, what else? So it also has a Blu-ray player and uh, the whole thing is powered by a 1500 watt power supply unit um, and it looks fucking beautiful. I mean the uh, Alienware even gives you like a command center here which you can open up and uh, and it'll give you uh, real-time information about your system. You've got temperature gauges for your GPUs, your hard drives, you got sensors everywhere, your your fan, fan RPMs, all this stuff. You can go over to Alien FX and you can actually start to change the colors if you want. So you can actually modify the colors and you can see the colors over here change in real time. Say I want to hit apply, I want to throw that to blue. You can change that to blue or you can change it back to red. Of course, I like red and black that's my color scheme so that's what i'm gonna go with little fun little stuff like that obviously just extra some of these light up if you want during video games they got like a, a bunch of games that that do shit with the lights but who cares about that um they have power saving plans overclocking abilities and all sorts of other really good stuff uh with the alienware what do they call it the command center now, a lot of people are, when I first showed off the Alienware on my Twitter, I immediately got a bunch of people like, oh, the fuck did you get an Alienware? Like, fuck Alienware. I was, I was really surprised by sort of the backlash uh, against an Alienware system. It, it puzzled me. And I think that's because the original creators of Alienware went off and did their own thing with Origin. Uh, but that doesn't mean that some of the people that stayed behind to continue to do the Alienware don't know what they're doing or, or aren't good. In my opinion, they are. Um, but a lot of people have asked me, why didn't you build your own system? I could have very well built my own system. You can go to Newegg and buy all the parts separately and save yourself a ton of cash, maybe $300, $400. Uh, but for my purposes, I just wanted a turnkey solution, man. I wanted a future-proof system. I didn't want to mess with it. I wanted it shipped to me, and I just wanted to start working at right away. And that's exactly what I got with the Alienware. Um, now, obviously, me being as honest as possible, the Alienwares, to me, I've seen the prices. They're about, you know, there's, there, there seems to be a markup. There's like a 20-30% markup. Um, but I, I called Alienware, I talked with them, and I got a 10% discount, which I can share that discount with you guys if you go with the Alienware. So that'll cut about 10% there. And I asked, well, what about the other 20% of markup? Well, you're getting the turnkey solution. You've got, you know, Windows installed on the machines. You've got the 24-hour uh, tech support and all that other good stuff. Uh, but mainly the reason why I went with an Alienware, not a lot of people know this about me, but before I started the Angry Joe Show, I actually worked at Dell. So um, some people do know I'm a fiercely loyal person and uh, Dell essentially started the Angry Joe Show. I'd come into work and I would do, you know, six hours of work and get my work done. But then the rest of the hours that I was there, I was making documents about what I was gonna do and, and how I was gonna form the Angry Joe Show and I would write scripts and just lists and plans and stuff. And it really helped me and, and, and I started the show as I was working there 
and eventually I said, okay guys, I'm out of here, peace. <laughs> I peaced out, took a huge pay cut, took a huge risk, and went out and, and did YouTube full time and it, and it worked out for me. So I wanted to sort of kick it back to Alienware and be like, I'll grab an Alienware system and, uh, and I'll show off the Alienware system to you guys here. But, um, so what else do I have besides the system? Well, I went with Aussis 27 inch monitors. I've got three of them. You may be saying, what the fuck? That's excessive as hell. And when I first bought these puppies and I laid them out, I'm like, these things are way too fucking big. What the hell did I do? Uh, but now when I went to all, my old computer, the little monitors are like this and I feel like I'm, I'm all like just staring at a tiny screen. So I've definitely gotten used to it. It really helps with video editing. But the reason why I got the screen so big and three of them not only can you do the racing games and stuff, uh, which really uh, make for an amazing experience, but you can also, uh, at least when you're a streamer like I do a little bit on Twitch, I need this main screen for my gameplay, and then I, I use this screen here to blow up chat so that I can interact with chat, and then on this side, I have a green screen which allows me to give credit to anybody that uh, subscribes to the channel or that donates or fun little gifts and stuff that I can play for chat and goof around with. And uh, I need a section of my screen to be green so that I can use the chroma key so it shows up on the screen. And that's why I need a whole separate section for that. And then over here, I throw up OBS so I can see exactly what my stream looks like. And I've never been able to have that before because I haven't had a third screen. So, you know, it just keeps the tabs on things. And then I can have yet more uh, information running in the background or browsing or whatever I want to do uh, with the three screens. Now, if you'll notice, they're sort of hovering and that's what is a triple monitor stand. That's from Ergotech and uh, it is a really badass stand. Um, it's highly adjustable. As you can see here, I've, I've sort of uh, pushed in the monitors to give that sort of cockpit-like uh, feel. Um, I think it looks really, really awesome and amazing. So those are my monitors and my PC. As far as the audio that I'm using uh, for my Let's Plays and Impressions, I've got a Rode Boom Mic arm that attaches to the desk there in the back. And then I've got a Shure digital microphone. Shure microphones are fucking fantabulous. And this is actually, it's not even an XLR. It is a USB microphone that I just, boom, use an, exten uh, an extension cable and plug it right into the back of the tower. Uh, so the Shure microphones are really good. Another microphone that I use is the bl uh, Blue Yeti. The Yeti microphones are mwah, excellent, great sound quality. These two, you couldn't go wrong with either one of these if you're doing Let's Plays or impressions or streams. These are two really good ones. So I plan to take the Yeti, pull it off the stand, and or I actually use this for board game reviews when we play board games in real time. But I need to pull that off the stand, set it on a, on a, on a stand over here, and so while me and other Joe basically sit over here while we play our console game, so if we want to play Helldivers or Dragon Ball Z or something like that on PS4, Grand Theft Auto 5, then we'll put the microphone here so that we can get really good audio. And it's very easy that, and the reason why I stuck this big ass fucking television, which by the way, this is, this is my only television in the house, <laughs> so don't think that I got a bunch of fucking television. I have no more living room. My living room is like empty as shit. This is my new living room, basically. So uh, I took the television from the living room. I wall mounted it. The wall mount was surprisingly cheap, only 60 bucks. And this whole thing can pivot and stuff. Not like I really need it to go that way, but I like how it pivots in. And it'll, it can come out, rotate up and down. Um, and the reason why I did that is so that I can use my Elgato HD capture. So while I play on the Xbox One, the PS4, or the Wii U, I can use the Elgato to capture the footage and put it directly to my hard drive so that when I work on the footage, uh, it's very easy. I can go through the footage, sort it, and edit very easily. So that's the, the and that's a sharp television. That's a 60 inch television. I think. 
I, I bought an older model. I think it was like 600 bucks, but uh, it went it, like some, it got fucked up. And I bought it from Circuit City before Circuit City went under. And, uh, and so I asked for a replacement and this was before they went under, but they were like about to go under and they were just like, fuck it, just give them a brand new one. They didn't give a shit when they were going. I mean, you could get shit super cheap at Circuit City before they went out. Um, so they just replaced it with a brand new television. I got lucky on that one. And um, what else? I use a lot of uh, Logitech products. No, I am not getting paid by Logitech. I just like their fucking shit. So as you can see here, um, as far as Logitech, I am using uh, the Logitech G930 wireless headset microphones. I use that on my stream. This is literally my favorite fucking headset. It is badass quality. You've got a microphone here if you need it. It's wireless, so I get to get up, do goofy dances, run around, play with Nerf guns on stream and shit. Um, and it works just fine and you can charge it there. So that's the Logitech G930. I bought some, uh, I bought Logitech uh, speakers and th these are the Z506s. They're super cheap. I think they're like 50, 60 bucks and they're 5.1 surround sound. Cheapy things, but, but it sounds fucking great, especially with the subwoofer there. So that's what I use for sound. Of course, I don't use that during stream. I use, during, when I stream, I use this, but when I'm gaming privately or recording footage on my own, for my own experience, I use those things. Um, and on, on the mouse side, I went with a wireless my, a mouse. Uh, this is the uh, X or the MX uh, Logitech wireless mouse. I love it. It's got some extra buttons there, so it's easier for me to like fucking spot an enemy or throw a grenade. But not too many buttons. Like my previous mouse, I had the Razer Naga. There was like fucking 12 buttons there. I never even used them all. So it's just a lot easier uh, to have a fewer buttons, but some extra buttons for, for first person shooters. Um, and then I've got the brand new uh, G910 keyboard. This fucking thing is awesome. Absolutely awesome. You can change the individual colors of the keys. That's the coolest thing about it. So my G keys, my G spot, I put green. My movement keys, I put red. It's just really fun. Um, the G910, which just came out, which they are gouging right now on Amazon. If you can, try to find them at Best Buy or at your local electronics store. They're much, much cheaper than they are on Amazon right now. Um, what else? I use a Microsoft Life Cam for uh, my streams and sometimes my angry vlogs. Um, and basically, this gives really, really good quality, great automatic adjustment using true color. It does have some weird uh, feedback every once in a while uh, with some lines across the screen, but it's only for a few seconds and it, and it seems to clear up um, on that. But so yeah, that's the new monster machine. And I always feel like a, a kid on Christmas morning when you first get that machine uh, set up, your new badass computer, and you go and you rush to see what kind of settings that you can do in computer games, like on extreme and recording. But uh, mainly I've seen the performance boosts and just starting the system, getting that thing running so damn quick. Um, also the uh, the render times have been cut almost in half. Uh, you, you know, Sony Vegas, which is what I've been using, uh, you, uh, utilizes the CUDA uh, accelerators uh, that are on the NVIDIA graphics card. So I've been getting a, a lot of performance boosts there, but I'm actually using that extra uh, rendering time uh, to make it a little bit better quality videos. I'm experimenting with new settings on YouTube that I've never experimented with before, trying to get uh, sharper images, better quality, uh, more realistic colors. So it's, it's all really good stuff. Um, and obviously I'm super excited. So now obviously you could probably buy all of these parts uh, a lot cheaper if you went on Newegg or something, but like I said, if you wanted the turnkey solution, uh, this is my suggestion on where to go. Um, obviously, I went with Alienware because of my history and because Alienware is right down the street. <laughs> I used to fucking work at Dell, so I get this shit fixed anytime. 
um, but so can you with their, their accidental damage coverage and all that other crap that you can get uh, for the system. But yeah, okay. So I'm um, looking forward to putting out more videos and having fun in 2015. There's a lot of crazy stuff coming out in terms of games. It's been relatively disappointing low scores on the games, but we're about to run into some really cool games here in May and, and uh, you know future months. So really looking forward to it, guys. And I just want to say thank you. Uh, to everybody who has watched the show, supported the show, uh, seen it on Twitch, and supported us on Twitch with you know all of your watch times, your uh, follows, your donations, your subscriptions, all of it is greatly appreciated here uh, by both me and other Joe and Delrith who are all working hard on trying to bring you uh, the best content and continuing to improve our content. So you're gonna see uh, a lot more reviews. We got hung up on the DBZ review, uh, but you're gonna see a lot more reviews. Uh, you're gonna see a lot more Let's Plays in between the reviews. Uh, and it's not really Let's Plays, I wanna call them more impressions, maybe angry impressions. I'll have to come up with a name for them. Just because I love talking about games with you guys and I can't let uh, people scare me off from putting the content out that I want to put out, you know, because you know, people were complaining about, oh, don't do Let's Plays, I subscribe, sub to your channel for reviews. Well, I've always done lots of different types of videos, so I would love to continue to bring you guys oh, a lot of different types of videos. Maybe bring back movie reviews just for some of the major releases coming out, like Avengers and fucking Star Wars and shit like that. So, all right, guys. Um, there's nothing else to say except for I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe show. And thank you.